our special comedy guest on The Dan Nichols Show this week is a very exciting young talent who's just been nominated in the Comics Choice Awards. Now, she didn't win this time, but there are many, many awards to come. Plenty of great performances, starting with tonight. Please welcome Chantelle Jacks. Oh, where, oh, where, oh, where? How's it, guys? Looking good? Looking good? Yeah, what you guys might not know is I started doing comedy because I got fired from my job. Yeah, and I got fired from my job because I was stealing stationery. Yeah, so what I'm trying to say, guys, is I'm looking for a blesser. <laughs> you, sir, you look, you look like the blesser. You see, because you remind me of how I like my men. I, hey. <laughs> I like my men like I like my coffee. Oh, I don't like coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm like this, guys, because, you know, growing up, we always asked you, like, people always say stupid things at the bar, like, hey, is there a man in the relationship? And I'm like, Gerard, there's no man in the relationship. <laughs> but put a cockroach in the kitchen and we will find a man in this relationship. <laughs> we're at that point now where we play rock, paper, scissors in order to figure out who's the man. The only problem in the same-sex relationship is that we both throw scissors. Stuff like this, guys, this is why I'm an angry 31-year-old, right? <laughs> I'm a really angry 31-year-old. I'm at that point now, I've started doing the pencil test. Ladies, have you done the pencil test before? Yeah? You know, where you put one pencil underneath the breast, if it falls out, it's you. <laughs> if it stays in, it's you. See, I'm at that point now where I can fit an entire pack of 36 Gorilla pencils right underneath my left breast. <laughs> and when I drop my left breast, you can't even see the pencils anymore. <laughs> That's how I stole the stationery. <laughs> it's called the Crayola underneath the Areola effect. <laughs> Every time. I'm also really angry about traffic, guys. Traffic just gets me in the fields every time. You know when you're sitting in peak hour traffic and there's always that one guy that goes down the turning lane, gets to the front and cuts you off without an indicator? That's not even the thing that makes me angry. What makes me really angry is when he gets in front of me and he puts his hazards on to say thank you to a gap I never gave him! <laughs> But this is also me cutting somebody off from the turning lane without an indicator. <laughs> and I thought this woman is going to give me some sign language, we're going to move on with the day. No, she gets out of the car, she walks to my window. What? Have you ever been so nervous that your bum starts eating a hole in the seat? <laughs> she gets to my window, auntie, she looks at me, she goes, Hi, do you even have your license? Do you know your K-53? So I turned my window down, I looked at her and I said, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> she felt so guilty. <laughs> it was awkward, guys. Because <sighs> I forgot to turn my radio down. <laughs> the last thing will make you really angry when you're in your titties is when you go to that bring and bry, you know, at Marley's house. And Marley's managed to accumulate eight children in five years. And you still can't do the math, right? And every time you get there, she goes, hold on, stay here. And then she calls those eight kids over. Now, I don't know if you guys know how Afrikaans people name their children. We name our first child one thing, and then we name every child after that exactly the same thing with a different derivative. So she goes, come see here. Small you one, tall you one, fat you one, <laughs> gay you one, oh. you wanna, <laughs> you wanna <key. laughs> And she says, say hello 
to Auntie Chantal. And I'm like, now I have to listen to eight kids go, hello, Auntie. Hello, Auntie. Hello, Auntie. One Afrikaans one. Hello, Tani. <laughs> I'm like, Marley, did you just call me Auntie? She says, yeah, it's manners. I'm like, really? She says, yeah, it's manners. I said, thank you. Because normally they call me uncle. <laughs> thank you very much. You guys have been epic.